have the sacred. Just a few words about pronunciation. We talk about the revitalization of indigenous languages. It's important to, that, that when, as we do, that we keep retain our way of speaking and pronouncing um, words. So it's, it's important to pronounce your indigenous names properly. Um, take my name, for example. If you didn't know and you pronounced it in another way, you'd really offend me. Now, some of you may, like me, sh um, share a love of The Bill, a British TV series um, many years ago on television, would know that the central headquarters of The Bill was Sun Hill, or as the British say, Sun Hill. Now, if you call me Manya in that way, you'd be swearing at me. So please be careful. Um, it's Manya, not the other way. Okay, K's and C's. There are no K's and C's in our languages. Um, they're pronounced as G. What that means is um, Kakadu is not Kakadu, but Gagadu. Canberra is Gunbara. Kuji is Guji. Kookaburra is Gugabara. Kangaroo is Gangaroo. Kuala is Guala. Kuri is Guri. And if down in Wollongong way, Mount Kira is Gira. TJ is pronounced like DJ. So a skin name like Jungler is pronounced like that, Jungler, TJ, Jungler. Kulangara is Gulangara, because D is, um, T is pronounced like a D. Oops, Gulangara. P is pronounced like a B. So a name like Pijinjara, very famous indigenous nation, is Pijinjara. S is pronounced like a T or a D. So how that translates in Aboriginal English is that sister becomes Tida. It's got nothing to do with one's memory glands, but as in show us your titters, but titter. So just be aware of that. Language reveals attitude, and feminists have long um, pr um, produced or written about this. So for instance, if you talk about going around bush bashing the country, then you're gonna have a very different attitude than if you thought of Bandayan as a very living, sentient being with feelings. And, um, and so you'd approach it a lot more sacred way. Language is important. It matters because it transmits culture. As a Native American elder said, language focuses how we see, hear, and experience the world around us. Can you speak kookaburra to a, a snake in Tamarama? Communicate with a guana as it has on the, uh, on the song. They're talking about Aboriginal ways of being and knowing. It talks about our connection and kindredness with all living beings. If you understand the language and the stories, you understand what it means to have eagle dreaming, or why you might call turkey mother-in-law, or why you might call tea tree sister. These are all contained in our languages and in our stories. The Yarralin people of Northern Territory say that dingo makes us human which is the subject of Deborah Bird Rose's book, Dingo Makes Us Human. The Bunjalung have a legend that says birds were the ones who gave us language and taught us to speak. Having language also means that you can commune with the land, which is very important. Richard Trudgeon um, wrote this book, Why Warriors Lie Down and Die. Richard Trudgeon is a gutia from Sydney. Um, who went up to live with the Yongu people in Northern Territory. And the book is really about the, his cultural immersion in that culture. He tells the story how one day he's walking through the bush during the wet season and he hears this frog croaking. And he's curious, he wants to know, what's the name of that frog? So he turns to one of the elders and says, excuse me, what's the name of that frog? And old fellow says, what frog? He says, that one, that one that's croaking. And the old fellow just smiles at him and says, that's not a frog, that's the sound of the grass growing. Richard Trudgeon hadn't realised, but he had become so culturally immersed with our people that he hadn't learned, that somehow he had learned to hear the um, grass growing. We learn through cultural practices like dadiri, which is deep listening. Auntie Miriam Rose is going around Northern Australia and sharing Yongu country and what it means to listen deeply in the world. You might want to Google some of her um, videos on YouTube. 
In an assimilationist world where there is enormous pressure to conform and become one people or one na nation, language matters. So it's important to keep those traditions very much alive. Okay, here comes Aboriginal English.